it doesn't help that I'm interviewing cooking with Ruthie on a day <laughs> it's been so busy and I haven't eaten yet because my mouth is watering. Ruthie, oh. I always love seeing you and love your recipes. You've got a really healthy one for us again. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. Doing good. Just, you know, hanging out with myself at my house. <laughs> <laughs> You and me, I'm, I'm hanging out in my office by myself, so cheers. At least we're kind of sort of together. Well, yeah. Ruthie, we're making some oatmeal raisin bars, and you yes. say it's a family favorite. Yum. Yes, these are a longtime family favorite. My, okay. my grandmother's recipe, and my mom made them when I was growing up. I made them for my kids when they're growing up. Wow. And so it's kind of like, you know, one of those comfort, like, you know, um, I don't know, you feel like you want to connect with all that. Yeah. So but something it, like that's always great to grab and just take with you. I love stuff like that to take to work. Yes. And the great thing about these bars is that they are, they're like, well, because I made them healthier. I replaced half the butter with applesauce and you don't have to, but it does um, it still has chewy, it still has the moisture and like half the calories, which I always think is good. Brilliant. I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. And then the great thing about raisins in the sixties, when they did recipes with raisins, they would boil them and that is to soften them. And so nowadays you don't hear people doing that, but these really are like an oatmeal raisin cookie in a sheet. Cause it makes like a wow. whole pan. Okay. And the great part you know, you can adapt this as much as you want. You can use agave, you can use sugar, a replacer. You can use um, more applesauce, less butter. Like you can play with it. But the great, like the thing to remember is you do, you do still need some fat. And yeah. you also, you know, can do different kind of flours. So this is just flour, it. oats, um, the raisins with cinnamon. The, um, the lifting agent is baking soda. And then you spread it into like a whole a whole sheet pan, and it bakes in 15 mm -hmm. minutes. And then it's wow. great for snacks. Um, you can, it's versatile. Like we we love them. I even freeze them, and they last for a long time. So when you make a whole pan, if you're not going to eat it all, you right. can freeze what you don't think you'll eat. But I promise you, they'll get eaten. <laughs> I. I love little power snacks like that. That's exactly what I need in the middle of the day, especially when I start to crash. I know we all have that point in the day when you're like, oh, here it comes. Like three and you just grab it. <laughs> yep. Like, and just here very shortly. Um, but Ruthie, of course, you've got this recipe and so many others on your blog, on your Instagram, your Pinterest, all of it. If they want to get connected with you, how can they do so? Yeah. Cooking with Ruthie on all of the platforms and the blog. And we, we'd love to have you come and join. And we're always sharing new family, you know, friendly. Yes. So, yeah. And I love it. She's always posting some fitness tips as well. So Ruthie, thank you. It's always fun to follow along and to see you occasionally on the show. Yes, you too. Bye.